here. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm really starting this. So originally, I uploaded this video two days ago. Um, and, you know, it, it's about the Death Stranding leak and how it actually surfaced. And we actually got um, video footage that we weren't really supposed to get. Um, and I put part of it in this video. I'm just here to say that it's not in this video. Um, <clears throat> I took it out. Uh, originally, I had left it. Um, your boy just got his first copyright infringement strike. Um, you know, unfortunately, it comes with being a YouTuber sometimes. Um, but it just, I just, I wanted to come and apologize uh, to Kojima and everybody at Kojima Productions. I know that this is also, you know, it's just not that I know them personally, but I just felt kind of bad. Like it was the best video I had as far as like response goes. Um, it had the most views out of all my videos. I had the most watch time. Um, and but like the whole time that it was kind of buzzing a little bit, I felt a little bad because I was like, I don't know if that I'm supposed to even have uh, part of this up. So I took that out. But um, the rest of the information on here is still about Death Stranding. And I'm still leaving like, you know, info about the leak. I'm just not, I don't have the actual footage on here anymore. Um, I'll put like a little passage of like what it's about too. So you guys can compare what I'm saying to the passage. And you know, you can just kind of work it together like that. But again, you know, this isn't me feeling sorry for myself. I just felt bad because I feel like I'm not really supposed to show it you know it's a, it's a leak you feel me it's a, it was a leak and it wasn't supposed to be a leak or at least you know it obviously doesn't seem like it because almost immediately as it went up that shit came down like in less than 24 hours that shit was gone from like everywhere um so but yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna catch y'all uh later in this video um but you know watch the rest of the video it still got all the info on Death Stranding in it. Um, and then, you know, you'll see when I start to talk about the leak with the passages. That's where originally the footage was, but that's no longer here. But I'm, I'm going to catch y'all then. All right. Peace. All right, y'all. So here we go. So obviously I just dropped my Everything We Know video about this game, Death Stranding, um, that we're all waiting for that has crazy anticipation. Um, obviously, it's a Hideo Kojima game, um, but I came to touch on some of the things that I missed out on that video, you know, because I was trying to do like a little brief overview, but I'm going to give you guys some fill-ins. I'm also going to tell you guys about how, well, I'm going to mention it right now, obviously, is that we got actually a leaked video yesterday of an old, of a briefing of what Death Stranding is about, and it's this full-on conversation between, uh, Sam Bridges, the main character, Emily, the woman in the red dress, and um, Die Hardman, the guy with the black mask. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'll show you little clips. I don't know that I'm supposed to even, you know, show it uh, because obviously these are things that I don't think they wanted released anywhere until until you know the game came out or at least till closer to when the game came out um the quality isn't great it's because it wasn't filmed it's not a screen capture situation where it got recorded on but i'm just gonna start off with you know a couple of things and then we're gonna get into the leak a little bit first thing i want to talk about is the are the bts um because i realized in my other videos i did not tell people what bt actually stood for and it stands for beached things um if you if you've seen any of the other trailers or the hartman uh character trailer or reveal that's to do with the glasses um who tries to fit everything into a 20 minute time span B hartman is that he he dies every 20 minutes and is brought back by that defibrillator that's on his chest um so that's why he tries to fit doing all these things in the 20 minutes and when he does that he ends up on the beach where he's looking for his body um but he tries to find it and the time span that it would take for him to be shocked back to life um that beach is probably well is where like the, the the death stranding people who died during death stranding i believe what it is is it is the realm between life and death you know we've seen pictures of what that looks like when people are like kind of walking away trying to find their bodies now the next two things i wanted to talk about are cliff and hicks you know uh cliff is this dude and hicks is this dude and if you haven't been able to tell from my previous videos, I hate them both. I really do. I mean, one jumps out of tar, the other one creates big monsters. I, I hate them. But whatever. Uh, Cliff is the one who walks around with the, as you saw in the picture, he's the dude who walks around with that undead army. Who, um, you obviously, if you've seen the trailer where he comes out under the bridge, um, he, he has cables connected to these undead skeletons i um, mean he lets them go and obviously he gives them orders i mean it's his army it looks like he's like basically their general 
Um, Higgs, on the other hand, is the leader of the Homo Demons of the Separatist group. Um, Higgs is definitely located out in the West Coast. Um, I'll, later on, when I was talking about that leak, I'm going to get into why we know that. So that's those two. The next thing that I wanted to get into is the as us understanding about how Sam actually has abilities. Now, in my last video, I said we're not sure exactly why he was chosen by Bridget, who is who was the president. Um, she does die, uh, if you guys do not know that, but that's that's something else. She does die, um, but she's the one who basically chooses him to be the one to carry out these missions um, from the east coast to the west coast and reconnecting the cities. Now, Sam's abilities. <clears throat> And this is why I believe this. Is, these are some of the reasons why they chose Sam. Um, was that one of his? He has um, this ability called an extinction factor. Now, what the extinction factor is is so you've seen in the trailer where what looks to be rain is falling down. What happens is that that rain is actually called time fall and death stranding. And what happens is that when it touches your body, you you rapidly accelerate uh, your age by decades. Like so, if if you if you're in the rainfall and it hits your skin your body starts to rapidly accelerate so you could jump 50 decades into into like your body ages like 50 years in the span of like 10 seconds you know that's so that's what that is so but sam isn't affected by it or is at least not as affected by it as other people is what my assumption would be another ability that he has is called doom and what doom is is it is the ability to sense the BTs because as you guys know, as you've probably seen before and you've seen in other videos, BTs are not supposed to be able to be seen by the naked eye of humans. Um, and so, but he, so he can't see it, um, but he can sense it. And I don't, so not everybody in Death Stranding has that ability. The other person who has that ability is, is fragile. Now, this is her right here. As you can see, you've seen her in trailers, and you've seen her where there's a trailer where it's just those two talking. She also has the Doom ability. I'm not sure if she has the Extinction Factor or not, but as far as we know, she definitely has the Doom ability. But I think hers is stronger than Sam's, because if you listen to her in the trailer, she asks if he can see them, and she's like, you have it just like me, she's like, so you can see them. But the way, the way she phrased the question makes it sound like, well, she can see them. So she's like, well, you have the doom factor, so why can't you see it? Um, so my assumption is that hers is even more heightened. She actually asks, asks him what level he's at, too. So that, uh, that's going to be interesting to see, guys, in, in the story, if you can level up that factor. And then by the end of the game, you've powered up enough where you can actually see the BTs. Um, I'm really hoping for that because I don't like running away from things I can't see. And just to give a little bit more of the background of what the Death Stranding is, besides the fact that it's an event, what the event was, more specifically, is it was a series of unnatural explosions called Void Outs. Um, and we believe they were caused by the BTs, or I believe Hideo Kojima actually said that they were caused by the BTs um, in one of the passages that he had released previously. So that gives us more info on what it is and where the BTs actually come from. As we were saying before, we think they come from the undead realm and they've come to hunt humans for whatever reason we don't know yet but that would sound correct considering the fact that if you remember when higgs takes his golden mask puts it in that black tar and it looks like and you see his uh, bridge baby light up and you see the the bracelet on his hand light up and it what it looks like is it looks like a bunch of humans and or you know people reaching up but they look like they're covered in black tar or they are the black tar reaching up as he creates that crazy ass lion demon thing now next thing i want to talk about this is just like a quick thing that is one of these it's theoretical but it, i mean it does seem like a bit it's a bit weird if it's just a coincidence is the fact that um sam's full name the main character's full name is sam porter bridges and we know now that Bridges is a company that is the company that he transports goods for. So, or at least transports parcels for or whatever you want to call them. Um, and that Die Hardman is his, is his boss. So, I mean, it's just interesting that his name is Sam Porter Bridges and he's a transporter for the company Bridges. Now, you wonder if later, if before all this happened, um, that maybe his family owned it or maybe he just has a history of being one of the best I don't know if it's a lineage thing. Who knows? But that would be something that would be more interesting to find out about. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about, too, was the scar on his stomach that we also saw on Cliff's stomach. 
and that we also saw on this baby doll's stomach that is floating down the river in one of the trailers uh, that Dead Man is in, the one where he's actually holding the bridge baby, and it looks like he's about to go under that bridge, and then they, it's also one where they show Cliff, the one that I showed earlier. Um, so that is an interesting thing. And just real quick, I just want everybody to realize, I just now noticed that all the names of these people are just descriptions of what they are. Mama's name is Mama because she's that BT's Mama. Uh, Deadman is, that's his name, so I assume he's dead. Uh, Hartman, his name is Hartman because obviously he has that problem with his heart where he dies every 20 second, 20 minutes and then has to come back. And Die Hardman, I'm curious about. I don't know why, but he has a mask on the whole time and you know he has scars under his chin, which I'm probably going to show you guys later in that little leak. I just wanted to bring, bring, uh, light to that. Okay, uh, next thing. Now for the last few things that I want to say before I show you a little bit of this leak and I um, talk about it a little bit more after it, um, just some of the questions that we had answered and some that we still have left, but it gave us a lot, um, is that, so first, we know that Emily, the one who I told you earlier, the woman who was in the red dress, is actually Bridget's daughter. Bridget was the president. Um... And we know that like the event when from when Sam starts to do this transporting is ten years after I believe the Death Stranding event happened in the first place, um, and you'll see some of that why in the leak, um, as well as the fact that he hadn't seen Emily in this time period in ten years. He hadn't seen them after Bridget had died. And then, then he must have separated himself from talking to Emily or Die Hard Men or any of these people. He probably isolated himself. Um, well, he did isolate himself. They say that in the leak, too. Um, and he just left for 10 years. And in that 10 years, three years after that, so seven years after, uh, whereas, which is where the leak takes place, um, when he actually starts. In, that, in the first three years, Emily, being Bridget's daughter again, was going around trying to reconnect everybody um, already from east to west. Um, and so the West Coast city that she... So basically she did that. She was gaining community and people were agreeing that they wanted to be reconnected and they were all traveling across the country until they got to the West Coast. So they finally got to the West Coast to a city called Edge Knot City. So we do have the name of one of the cities and which is where freaking Higgs is located. So that's why earlier when I said, well, we know he's on the West Coast, that's why we know he's on the West Coast. Edge Knot City is probably like L.A. or whatever, like that kind of situation where it's all the way on the West Coast. Um, and him being the leader of the Homo Demon Separatist group, it's not even, apparently it seems that it's not, it's not about like necessarily just, I mean, they do walk around killing people. They're a terrorist group. They leave the, the craters that you see in the trailers. Um, but... It seems like they want to live in isolation, and they're in this group where there's a lot of people over there. The community over there, they're the one community that, after all the communities that traveled with Emily who were getting themselves back together, they denied it. They did not want to be uh, united with everyone else. Um, and so, you know, you get a, you get a crazy-ass villain. Um, so ideally, it seems as though Higgs and other people that are in his community are really just in favor of somewhat of an anarchy. That's what it looks like to me. Um, that really makes it interesting to me because I wonder if maybe this is a maybe it was a class thing. Maybe when these cities were united, they were not treated well. Um, maybe they didn't have the money or whatever it is that you're supposed to have, and their lives really sucked. And then this thing happens, and now they have powers, and you know they don't want to go back to being at the bottom of you know the food chain type thing so that's that's my guess i mean i feel like that could play a part into it because otherwise i'm like why would you not want to reconnect it looks like everything sucks here like when um um but you know that's that's my guess um the last thing i wanted to tell you all though is that we know what the necklace is so that necklace that you saw on sam's neck um later on it's called a cupid and so this cupid apparently there are terminals at each of the cities that you travel to and I think this Cupid is the key to, I mean, you know, there's some kind of technology involved in this co connecting. Cause I think they're talking about literally physically connecting these cities. Um, I don't think it's just about emotional or being like, oh, yeah, let's all be under the United Cities of America again. I think it's literally like 
there's also there's that but then there's also a physical connection and i think that that necklace that cupid is that what helps you is the key to actually connecting the cities um so we'll see that but i'm gonna let y'all watch a piece of this and then we're gonna we're gonna talk about it you feel me so let me catch y'all hold up all right y'all so this is originally where the footage was again i had to take it out you know but so I'm just going to read this for y'all. Um, so the video shows main character Sam taking a meeting in the Oval Office. He's briefly briefed by Dead Man, that's the guy with the skull mask, before Sam's old friend Emily enters the room in a flash of light. Dead Man and Emily explain that she had led a convoy across these great United States. They don't use that exact terminology to reconnect formerly splintered communication. It was going well until they got to their final stop, Edgenot City on the West Coast. Its separatist inhabitants rejected their message and even took Emily hostage to ensure nobody else from her organization would try to finish her mission. Turns out Emily's only here as a hologram. Dead Man and Emily want, want Sam to finish what she started, head west, reconnect the terminals, her convoy set up. And eventually make his way to Edgenot City and free Emily like any self-respecting, conflicted protagonist. Sam refuses and storms out of the room because of some bad history with this organization. So, <clears throat> I'm here to confirm that, obviously. Um, we've seen it. Um, and that that is exactly what happened. Um, I, I kind of was thinking about showing out pictures, but I was like, nah, that's that's still bad. So, uh, But yeah, that's, that's essentially what happened with, uh, with that. But yeah, y'all, so as you can see, besides the fact that we already knew that this game was going to be crazy, <clears throat> um, you know, that gave us that gave us a much better uh, footing for knowing what we are actually going to be doing and why. Um, and, you know, it was it was tough. Like I, when I saw that leak, I was like, damn, I was like, OK, now we're, we're really getting somewhere. But I only have a couple questions. One is about him saying he's not a strand anymore. He's Sam Porter Bridges. I don't know what that means. Um, and I still have questions about the terminals that they set up that the Cupid is going to help them reconnect. Although, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's a physical thing. But, you know, we'll see. But, yeah, y'all. So, you know, I appreciate y'all watching this. You feel me? I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, you can give it a thumbs down. You feel me? But, you know comment regardless you know and uh, i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video peace You know, um, again, you know, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, I do, again, apologize to Hideo Kojima and everybody at Kojima Productions. Um, again, I don't know them personally. Hopefully, I do get to meet y'all one day and work with y'all, and that would just be awesome. Um, but, yeah, I just apologize for that whole leak thing. But, you know, you feel me? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that this video, you know, still... Hopefully uh, y'all enjoyed it and that you know you still got more info. Um, but yeah, so then that's that's what this video is for. So, but I'm gonna catch y'all later. Um, Peace.